the thing that just uh, uh, I think I'm most um, put off by, I mean, the glee, I understand the kind of glee that people have over anybody who is uh, wealthy or famous uh, being cut down to size. I get that. That's part of our American uh, cultural uh, phenomena. What I don't uh, understand, though, is the there was, I thought, and in the interests of full disclosure, my daughter is uh, one of his lawyers. One of his lawyers. Um, I thought that they had made a pretty persuasive argument for bail. But I mean, Mark, he, he was he was calling one witness 128 times in four days. Um, well, if that, I mean, isn't um, that a, that shows a, a, a sort of manic, you know, inability to to not tamper with a witness? Well, remember, part of what there is a lot of conflation going on. Part of what is happening is he is on the receiving end of multiple lawsuits. And there are people who have reached out to him repeatedly over the years and want to sue him because he's a target because of his wealth. Um, he has a right to try to defend himself in all of these civil lawsuits. There's been no allegation. The only allegation that I understand was read in the courtroom yesterday was they were attributing something one of his lawyers said as obstruction of justice, which, wow, that's kind of a, that's an interesting take that when you're being sued civilly, if your lawyer is defending you, that that's obstruction of justice. So how? So remember, he offered or they offered, he didn't do any talking, but they offered to turn over any cell phone, have somebody monitor him, um, have him, you know, he put up a package of $50 million that he wasn't going to flee. He flew to New York, here in New York, yep. 12 days before. And I, I don't think there's any question of flight, but obviously the judge felt uh, differently when he came out onto the bench yesterday. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.